Okay then, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a dedicated Gary's Mod server. This can be a worldwide server or a server just for friends on the LAN. So, let's get straight into it. The first thing you're going to need is Steam CMD. The link will be in the description. Basically, it will bring you to this page. You can either press on uh, download Steam CMD or just scroll down a little bit. And download your preferred uh, operating system. So, mine's Windows at the moment. And it's got Linux. Can't actually run it on Mac, I don't think. So, sorry for you guys on Mac. You have to find another way. But anyway, download it there, and you should get a WinRAR file. But as I've already downloaded it, I've already extracted the Steam CMD onto my desktop. Anyway, next of all, what you want to do is go into a fo um, a folder, and you want to save it somewhere. I usually use the D drive. You can use the C drive, but I prefer this D drive and just go ahead and make a new folder, I'm just going to call this server for now and head on into there next of all what you want to do is drag the steam cmd into that folder that you've just made from here what you want to do is open it up and let's do it th uh, let it do its thing and I'll just drag that over to the side as you can see it's downloading updates and it's extracting all the files into this little folder that you've just made Okay, and so once it's done that, you'll get this over here. It'll just say Steam and then um, the little flashing icon. What you want to do from here is go login underscore, no, login space anonymous and just hit enter. This basically will log you into Steam and you can use your own account, but it's preferred to use an anonymous source. So what's uh, whilst that's doing that, we'll just make a, another folder in the D drive, and I'm going to call this one um, Start Server. This will be where all your main server things will go, and this will be where you'll start run it from and start uh, like the process of opening it up. So just head on into that. The next thing you want to do is force underscore install underscore lowercase d i r and you want to ha uh, have a space after that next thing you want to do is go over to the folder you've just made which is going to be called start server and you want to copy this in the top so for me it's d the d drive slash start server just control c head over back to the steam cmd uh, click on the icon up here in the top left and go on to edit and paste It'll just paste it in and hit enter. So that'll do that there. Next thing you want to do is app underscore update and 4020. This is basically the Gmod um, validation code, so we'll hit enter for that as well. So I'm back. It's only on like 2% at the moment, but um, I did notice one thing that I've done wrong. Basically, I think the problem was um, when I pasted the code in just here what you need to do is put a slash at the end of it as well because if you don't do that it will actually make a new folder in the D drive on its own which doesn't really matter so you can just delete that start.server but make sure you put a slash at the end I think was the problem or it possibly is some speech marks around the actual file directory so well, it doesn't matter, it still made the start file, and as you can see, it'll start putting stuff into that file. So I'll just leave that open so you can see what actually gets put in there. Okay then, so I'm back and as you can see it's finished. I did leave it for a while just to make sure it was all updated and I did do all the stuff whilst I was gone. That's probably why the time is so different. But well, it really shouldn't take you that long to do all this and update it. So from here, let's get straight back into it. All you want to do now is do app. Oh, make sure you actually pressed in the command prompt. You want to go app underscore update. Um... 4020 again as the um, what you call it the number for G uh, yeah Gmod and then put validate like so and then just hit enter 
And it should just go ahead and do that. This one shouldn't take as long as the first one. And whilst that's doing that, as you can see in that new file that it created, it has actually created a lot of new uh, files. You've got the SRCDS file, which isn't really useful anymore. It's an outdated version, and we will be changing this. Uh, you've got Gary's mod, where you've got all your stuff should be inside of here. It loads. Yep, you'll see that everything's in here. You can put your maps and everything, and we'll get onto that later on. So we'll just wait for that to finish. Okay then, so we'll actually do something over here whilst that's doing that in the background. What you want to do is right click, go down to new, and you want to uh, create a new text document. And we're just going to uh, name this start.bat, or start.bat. So from here what you want to do is just leave that in there. Actually, we'll open that up for now. We'll open it up with Notepad++. Wait for that to do this. There we go. Now that that says a success, you can just minimize that for now. So we're in the start.bat file that we just created, the text document. But uh, what we want to do is actually get some coding in here. So back onto the internet. You want to go to this website up here. It will be in the description. It's source dedicated servers. And basically, if you on Linux, choose Linux. If you're on Windows, go on to Windows, which I am. And then what you want to do is go down until you find this command here, the echo off command, and basically just copy and paste, oh, copy and paste all of this into that start.bat file that we just created a second ago. Then from here, what you want to do is change map dust or de underscore dust. You want to change that to gm underscore con. Uh, what is it called? Construct, I think it is. And the you'll see it'll say console and then game. You want to change the game to uh, Gary's mod with no spaces. And make make sure there's a space after Gary's mod and between plus map. I think that is all of it. So what you want to do now is go to file, save as. And you want to save it as a start.bat file, so you'll need to go back down to here and just scroll down until you can find .bat, which is here. It's actually a batch file. And just save it as that and save. So you'll see everything will change colour and all that. And you can just close that down now, and that is finished. You don't need um, Google anymore or Internet Explorer. And you can just delete that file that you just made, the, the .txt file. So now you should have a start file. What you want to do is actually uh, run that for now, just to make sure it's actually working. So it'll just go through everything, update, and I'll leave that for a second. So whilst that's updating, what you want to do now is get a little bit of code for things like if you're in actual sandbox mode, you can you can limit the things that are spawned in. So you want to go into the Gary's mod file, which is in the server. You want to go to CFGs and find a .cfg which says server.cfg. Open it with Notepad++. I would advise getting Notepad++ if you're going to make a server because it's a lot easier. It just lays out everything easier. So as you can see, the server actually has nothing at all. So this is where a little a little file will be, or this is where a little file that I made and can be found on the internet will come in handy. I will either put this in the description as it is now, or I will put a download for it. But all you want to do is copy and paste this in. And most of it is self-explanatory. You've got the host name, so and then it says the server name for the listing. So we'll just call this uh, new server. For now, uh, you can have a password. Make sure the password is pretty good, so I'm just going to have... Yeah, not going to be very good at the moment, but you want this to be very strong. You want this to be as strong as possible, and make sure you remember it. Uh, this bit here is the server password, so everything is SV for server, and SBox for sandbox, and you can actually change these for anything. You can have um, 
TTT for just uh, troubling terrorist town servers, but there'll be other packages that can do that for you. It's only really used for sandbox. But going back to this SV password, this will be the server password, so ABC. If your friends wanted to come on, they would have to put his password in. But to be honest, if you want it worldwide, you want to leave that blank. Uh, and then you can just go down, see everything, read everything, you can change god mode. And this is what I was talking about, the limits to everything. You can limit the ragdolls, so only two ragdolls can happen from one person. Uh, turrets, vehicles, buttons, all that sort of stuff. But you just want to save that for now. And then close all that down. Uh, we, yeah, I don't want to save that, I don't need it. So we'll go back to this. It should be on GM Construct, which it is, and it says how many it should be on the map. We'll just close that down for now because uh, we don't need it. Oh, there is one thing we need to do as well. Let's go back to that. What you want to do is go on to your internet browser and put in your IP address. So I'm going to put mine in and just sign into it. This bit is the most complicated bit and this is the only way you can make it worldwide. So I'm just going to show you how to get this. Go down to your start or run file, cmd, to get the command prompt. And then in the command prompt, if you put IP config, all one word, you should get all this information, blah de blah de blah. What you want to do is scroll up a little bit until you put you can find the uh, where is it? Where is it? There it is. The default gateway. So this is your IP address. This is what you're typing at the top of the URL bar. So I typed it in up here. As you can see, it's the exact same. And this is what you're if you're on a wireless router, this is what you'll be using. You need to do this if you're on wireless. So go back to the IP now. As you can see, we need to do uh, some port forwarding and this is an out of date version of the software so it is honestly so hard to get your head around uh, more up to date software will be easier to use but as you can see here we got an ID we got a service port and this number right here is the most important the 27015 if we just close all this down and then we run our little start again you'll see the number 27015 pop up right there and as you can see it says ports so what you want to do is get this number and remember it so let's go on I'll add a new one this might be easy for you you might have to find another way and basically put your 27015 in you want the IP address as well this may not be the exact same as this one here this actually varies sometimes and you'll see it here IP mine is 192.168.1.101 uh, but sometimes that is actually 101 so every time you start your server up just make sure this is the same as the one which is going to be put here so at the moment it's that one uh, enable uh, protocol and status enabled doesn't really matter, matter about common ports and you just want to save that I'm just going to return because I've already got them uh, in some cases you may need to make other ports but that is really the basics, that is the hardest way to do it. Yours, yours should be more up to date uh, software on your router. So it should be easier and it should be a lot clearer what where to put everything. As long as you have this service port as 27015 and your IP address, it should work. And make sure this is on all, it should always work. So that can be closed now. We've got this open and this means the server should actually be working and up. So if we just go on to find game, we call it new server. So if you go on local networks, you'll see a sandbox. It'll say new server, and that it's easy as that. Just join server, and it should. I can't remember if I put the password in or not. In the end, it should ask for a password if you put a password. If not, oh no, I didn't. I didn't put a password in. But if not, it should just sign in, and it should just get you straight in. So to prove that it's working, I'll just sign on into it. And there you go, as you can see, we're actually in Gary's Mod. And this is your server, believe it or not. People can join it from all over the world. So, thanks for watching. Rate, comment and subscribe. I will be bringing in a lot more series out about Gary's Mod. It will either be gameplay or more tutorials like this. If this helped, please rate, comment and subscribe. 
Uh, if not, please give me some comments on how I can improve. Any negative feedback is welcome. Not horrible feedback, but uh, constructive criticism. But thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Oh, actually, just before I go, uh, your Steam CMD can actually be closed down, so it doesn't mean anything anymore. As long as everything's working, it should be fine. And you've already got the saves of everything in your folder. So this is everything that you need. So thanks for watching. See you in a bit.